Let's see what is inside the project. There is a tutorial folder with a video explainer and all links. Compositions preview contains the catalog link, use it for navigation and see animated previews of all scenes. The project itself is placed in the project files folder. Fonts folder contains a link to all project fonts. Very important to install project fonts before using templates. These fonts are necessary for the titles to work correctly, you can change the font to any other later. You can find a font archive download link in the fonts folder. Download the archive, unzip it and install fonts from the folder. For quick installation of fonts, copy all fonts to the following path. Now we can install the project itself. Let's jump in DaVinci Resolve. I will create a new project, you can open existing one. Now we need open a fusion tab, use a switch on the bottom. To install titles pack just drag a DRFX file to the app window. Press install and we are ready to go. After it we can go on the edit tab and start using title. 
Open Effects window and navigate to Toolbox, Titles menu, open drop down menu and there you will find DZ Edit, Titles Pro folder. All titles are grouped with categories and have preview pictures. Swipe over the title to see a live preview. Titles can fit full HD and 4K resolution. To add a title just drag it to the timeline window. It will create a timeline automatically, or you can create it by yourself. To edit the scene, select title layer and go to the inspector window on the right. You can customize title as you like, change fonts and colors, move text and graphic layers. I will make a quick edit. You can create unique titles for your needs. All scenes have different controls, it depends of the scene complexity and speciality. Also you can edit the length of the titles, keeping the in and out animation. Drag the edges of the layer to set the desired length of the title. The static middle part of the title will be frozen, and the in and out animations will be saved unchanged. Some scenes content text boxes, they can be automatic, in most cases, or fixed, but you have all tools to customize it and make a nice looking typography for your videos. Here, the text in the box after editing overlaps the word that is next. Using the text position controller, I aligned the word relative to the second one. Again, I will make few changes here. Nice. Let's look on the callouts category. All titles in this category start animation from a certain point and you can edit it. Use start point control to edit start of the animation. Enable a fusion overlay mode to see the anchor point of the titles, it helps. See our another tutorial to know how to track titles to your video using DaVinci Fusion. Hello, let's learn how to track video and add a title to it. At first we need a video to track, I have a good one. Import the media using menu or just drag the video directly in the app. Now we need to go to the Fusion tab. Here you will see two nodes, Media In is our video and Media Out is our viewer. Now we need to add the tracker node, press shift plus space to open search tab. Type, tracker and hit add. Now connect tracker node between media in and media out. You can see the green boxes were added to our viewer, it is tracker point. Find the object on the video you want to track. This point will be parent point for title. Jump on the first frame of the scene, place the tracker point on the object part you want to follow. Resize first box directly around the point of tracking. The second box is the search area, the tracker will search point from the first box in the second one. When you are done hit track forward button in the inspector and wait until DaVinci will make tracking of every frame, it can take some time. You will get a notification when tracking ends. Now we can add a title to the scene. Open effects tab and go to templates, edit. Titles. 
open callouts category and import title you like. Drag it to the node grid. Join the title node to the tracker node, to the green arrow in. Then go to tracker operation tab and select match move in operation section. Now the title will appear above the video and we can edit it. Move the elements and use start point control to place start point of the animation. Now we can go back to the edit page and see the result. To speed up preview, you can reduce the quality of the preview, go to playback menu, timeline proxy mode, select resolution, 